Dr. Ornish showed that a plant-based diet and lifestyle program could reverse the progression of prostate cancer. And he found that men's bloodstreams on the diet were almost eight times better at suppressing cancer cell growth. Other studies have shown that prostate cancer may be sensitive to diet even after it metastasizes and may prolong survival and even cause remission of bone metastases in men with advanced prostate cancer. Researchers hypothesized that it was too much saturated fat, too little fiber, and too much meat that may be the biggest players in tumor promotion and progression. But we don't have a huge amount of scientific evidence for other cancer reversals on a plant-based diet, but we do have countless stories and anecdotal evidence. So let's hear as Dr. Milton Mills shares some of these stories. There are just innumerable cases of people who have been able to cure themselves of cancers by converting to an entirely plant-based diet. There are very sound mechanisms and reasons why that can occur. I don't want people to take away from what I'm saying that going plant-based is either the only way to treat cancer or that it is a guaranteed cure. But what I do know is that for years, even in the cancer literature, it has shown that once a person is diagnosed with cancer, if they adopt a plant-based diet, they are more likely to live longer and to have a longer disease-free survival period. Gigi, the vegan, Gigi documents the fact that she had grown up eating a very meat-centric diet. She ate a lot of red meat. She was diagnosed with stage two or three colon cancer. I can't remember exactly. She was advised that she needed both surgery and follow-up adjunctive chemotherapy. Instead, Gigi looked into what actually caused her disease. She realized that having that meat-centered diet was part of the problem. And to make a long story short, she converted to a purely vegan diet, no animal products or whatsoever, no meat, no eggs, no dairy. For the first six months of that diet, she was completely raw. She said over that six month period, not only did her CEA tumor markers go down to zero, but then her follow-up CAT scan showed that the, the tumor had regressed the doctor was so incredulous, he wanted to do a follow-up colonoscopy. And the colonoscopy that had initially diagnosed her colon cancer, they had stained that cancer with a dye in preparation for the surgery. When they went back in, they saw where the dye was on the wall of the colon, but there was no longer any tumor. By doing this plant-based diet, that tumor completely regressed. And Gigi is now four or five years out no sign of recurrence. She is healthy. She has become a plant-based advocate spreading the news. And then there was Mr. Frank Smith diagnosed with stage four liver cancer at the Lombardi Cancer Center at Georgetown uh, University Hospital. Frank had a history of hepatitis C. He also is very honest about prior to that point in his life, he had drank heavily and occasionally used intravenous drugs. He had cirrhosis caused by the hepatitis C, and he was diagnosed with hepatocellular carcinoma. He had two large tumors, one in each lobe of his liver. There really is no effective treatment for hepatocellular carcinoma. The doctors told him that he essentially has six months to live and that he should kind of put his affairs in order because you can't use radiation, chemotherapy is ineffective, and because uh, he had these tumors in both lobes, surgery really wasn't an option for him. Frank was put in touch with a plant-based physician, Dr. Theodore Watkins. Dr. Watkins put him on a raw diet. Over the next eight months, Frank's tumors shrank to the point that follow-up CAT scans showed that where there had been tumors, there was now only scar tissue in his liver. After the liver cancer completely resolved, he then took the medication Harvoni, was cured of his hepatitis C, but this is the part that is really amazing. Frank had been diagnosed with cirrhosis, which means that the liver itself had become completely scarred. By remaining on his plant-based diet, his liver cirrhosis completely resolved. Mind blowing. Donna Green Goodman, back in 1996, was diagnosed with stage three 
breast cancer. They found a pecan-sized tumor, and I believe it was her left breast. She went in for a lumpectomy where they take the tumor out, but they also do a lymph node dissection, and she had 11 of 17 lymph nodes that were positive for cancer. At that point, the doctors told her, it's not curable. We can put you on chemotherapy, chronic suppressive therapy with some radiation, which will essentially buy you time. It will kind of suppress it for maybe up to five years, but eventually the cancer is going to come back and it's going to kill you because that's what happens with stage three breast cancer. She went to see at least two other cancer physicians who told her the same thing. Now, the important and interesting thing about Donna was that Donna had been lacto-ovo vegetarian her whole life, and she still developed uh, this breast cancer. There's a very good reason for that because there's so much estrogen in dairy products and in milk that it almost certainly promoted the development of the cancer in her body. And she then decided to become 100% vegan. She was raw for like six to seven months. Over that time period, her tumor markers went down to zero. She has been cancer-free since 1996. That is without question a phenomenal cure. Donna, after eliminating all animal foods, dairy, eggs, but she also said that uh, she had come across uh, information that caffeine is very active in breast tissue. And she said all of her adult life, she had had fibrocystic disease in her breast. Once she eliminated the caffeine, that went away. And Donna is still alive, healthy. This is just a remarkable and astounding uh, cure. But again, I think it's very consistent with what we know about the ability of plant foods to help heal our bodies once we, one, stop the dietary insults that are inflaming and driving the cancer. But then there are so many compounds in plant foods that are actually directly toxic to cancer cells. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.